My grandfather, John McGee, brought a 16mm Bell & Howell camera with him to China to record his life and work. He never expected it would document some of the most direct and powerful evidence of the atrocities of the Japanese invasion. In December 1937, risking his life, my grandfather used his camera to film the horrifying events in Nanjing. He filmed Chinese civilians who had been murdered for no reason by Japanese soldiers. He also filmed civilians who had been tortured, receiving medical treatment in the Drum Tower Hospital in Nanjing. His films are the only motion picture images of the Nanjing Massacre. In February 1938, Nanjing was still brutally occupied. John McGee knew that he had to tell the world what was happening in Nanjing. He gave the films to George Fitch, who was then director of the Nanjing Safety Zone Committee. Fitch smuggled them to Shanghai. After arriving there, Fitch secretly had copies made and sent them out of China. People around the world finally got to know about the Japanese atrocities. After the war, my grandfather submitted his films to the Nanjing War Crimes Tribunal. The killing began immediately in several ways, often by individual Japanese soldiers. Uh, Japanese war criminals soon faced soldiers. justice. My grandfather's films are to this day seen as hard evidence of the atrocities committed by the Japanese army. In October 2002, my uncle David McGee donated the camera and four reels of film to the Nanjing Memorial Hall. In 2015, the films were included in the Memory of the World Register by UNESCO. In 2018, at the invitation of the Memorial Hall, I came to Nanjing. Like my grandfather, I also brought a camera to China. I retraced his footsteps and began a visual dialogue with him that reached across eight decades. My grandfather's camera recorded a very dark period of history. My camera witnessed the present prosperity and peace and the good life of the people of Nanjing. Nanjing has recently become the 169th International City of Peace. It's a title that embodies the city's pain and hope. We must tell the story of our ancestors who provided humanitarian aid to the people of Nanjing during their darkest time. The world needs to know the true story of the Nanjing Massacre. We must always remember history and cherish peace. Our prayer for peace will forever connect the McGee family to the people of Nanjing and to the people of China. <laughs>